Hello friends. This is another video on world literature. There are many questions asked in previous year exams from this topic. What 19th century philosophical term of Russian origin did Nietzsche use to describe the disintegration of traditional morality in Western society? Is it absolutism, anarchism, or nihilism? The answer is nihilism. The satire play Proteus is attached to which trilogy? Is it Oedipus trilogy, Orestia, or Achilles? The answer is Proteus is the satire play attached to Aeschylus' Orestia. Which of the following pairs is wrongly matched? Charles Baudelaire, French. Heinrich Hein, Swedish. Jose Marti, Spanish. The answer is Heinrich Hein. He was not Swedish, but he was a German poet. Who among these does Gabriel Garcia Marquez name? right in the beginning of his Nobel Prize address. Is it Ferdinand Magellan, Christopher Columbus or Antonio Pigafetta? The answer is Magellan and Pigafetta. The Nobel lecture of Gabriel Garcia Marquez was called the solitude of Latin America. This is how it begins. Antonio Pigafetta a Florentine navigator who went with Magellan on the first voyage around the world, wrote, etc. So you can't blame them. They just want you to take a look at the Nobel Prize lecture of Gabriel Garcia Marquez. At least the first line you should read. That is all that NTA wants you to do. Guys, in this video, the names of the exams I've given is wrong. I forgot to change the names of the exams. I hope you don't mind. Henrik Ibsen, who is hailed as the father of realism, belonged to, is it Germany, Norway, Austria? Henrik Ibsen was a Norwegian playwright. Another question from Gabriel Garcia Marquez. The novel 100 Years of Solitude is a story of Dash family. Is it Buendia family, Bovary family, Brangwen family? It is Buendia family. In Divine Comedy, Virgil proceeds to guide Dante through the Dash concentric circles of hell. How many concentric circles are there? Is it eight? Or is it 9? Or is it 10? There are 9 concentric circles of hell. Which of the following novels is structured into a poem of 999 lines preceded by a foreword, followed by a commentary and an index? Is it Ragtime or Pale Fire? or Hourglass? The answer is Pale Fire. It is a 1962 novel by Vladimir Nabokov. The 999 line poem is written by a fictional poet called John Shade. And the foreword and commentary is written by his fictional neighbor Charles Kinbot. Which among the following novels includes a questionnaire for the reader, such as, do you like the story so far? Yes or no? Uh, is it Waterland by Graham Swift? Or is it Snow White by Donald Barthelme? Or is it If on a Winter's Night a Traveller by Italo Calvino? The answer is Snow White by Donald Barthelme. It's a 1967 postmodernist novel. Pines 
satire social commentary and a lot of absurd themes it is a very experimental novel split into small sections donald barthelme is well known for having written small short stories called flash fiction the story is narrated by a first person narrator and there are completely unconventional styles that are used sometimes bold capitalized text is there sometimes uh, there are titles that explain what the text is about the protagonist snow white is conflicted about her role as the princess and the novel ends famously with a list of random phrases that form the summary of the novel what is the subject of ivan's controversial essay in the brothers karamazov by fyodor dostoevsky is it the evils of clergy the eucharist or ecclesiastical courts the answer is ecclesiastical courts who among the following are the two great masters of the french language that t s eliot contrasts with dryden and milton in the metaphysical poets is it françois villon jean racine or charles baudelaire it is racine and baudelaire that t s eliot contrasts with dryden and milton in the metaphysical poets which two of the dramatists are associated with epic theater is it fernando arabal bertolt brecht or arnold bronnen arnold bronnen was a friend of bertolt brecht they were both associated with epic theater brecht and bronnen who wrote a guide called how to write a doctoral thesis the humanistic subjects this book is considered equal in standard to the american mla handbook or the chicago manual of style who is the author is it cesar pavese umberto eco leo spitzer it is umberto eco in the spring of 1941 nikos cousin zakis embarked on one of his most ambitious projects a play known as yangse named after the river what is its english title how is it now known as is it zorba zoraster or buddha yangse is now known as buddha the book is set on the banks of yangse river the titular figure of frederico garcia lorca's elegy lament for ignacio sanchez mejias was a revolutionary who was associated with che guevara a popular matador and writer matador means bullfighter a spy who helped the revolutionaries during the spanish civil war the answer is ignacio sanchez mejias was a popular matador and writer which ancient greek writer's name is directly mentioned in lord byron's poem the isles of greece is it sappho sophocles euripides it is sappho who was from the island of lesbos which novel of kazuo ishiguro is narrated by a japanese widow living in england and drawing on the destruction and rehabilitation of nagasaki she was originally from nagasaki now she lives in england and she is remembering her days in nagasaki there is also a fan- fantasy element there is it the unconsoled a pale view of hills when we were orphans it is a pale view of hills Bertolt Brecht's Mother Courage and Her Children presents the war torn Europe. What is the real name of Mother Courage? Is it Paula Dankert, 
Anna Fearling, Jane Vanston. Mother Courage is Anna Fearling. Mother Courage is her nickname. She is a businesswoman running a Swedish army canteen and she is running through the battle to sell loaves of bread before they get spoiled. This play is based on a 17th century uh, short novel, The Run Gate Courage. This is an anti-war play. Uh, Anna Fearling tries to make money from the war and she loses her three children to the war. Her three children are by three different men. They include two sons named Aleph and Swiss Cheese and a daughter named Catherine. In Eugene Ionesco's Chairs, the absurdity is not so much in the banal words that are uttered as what does this mean the question the absurdity of this play does not reside in the banal words in the absurd words the absurdity lies somewhere else what is that is it in the large scale use of frightening stage props and lightning effects is it in the absurdist interpretation of them by character after character? Or is it in the fact that they are spoken to an ever-growing number of empty chairs? Is that happening in chairs? Yes, the absurdity lies in the fact that the banal words are spoken to an ever-growing number of empty chairs. And the 20th question, Leo Tolstoy's Anna Karenina's closing lines present a sad reflection on the unfortunate suicide of Anna, which could have been averted. Is it the enlivening freshness of a rain that has been threatening to break out? Or are the closing lines about Levin's affirmation that whatever happens to him, life is not meaningless, but unquestionably meaningful. Yes, the closing lines of Anna Karenina is about Constantin Levin and the affirmation that whatever happens to him, life is not meaningless. So guys, that's the end of today's video. Tomorrow, we will have an awesome video on culture studies based on previous year questions. Until then, bye-bye, happy reading.